Chapter 23, The Pulverization Machine. At eye level, Zoe could see huge bags of rotting burgers with maggots crawling out of them. She put her hand over her mouth for fear she might scream or throw up or both. The van hurtled through the town. She could hear it scraping against other cars and the horns of other vehicles hooting as it sped through red lights. Zoe popped her head up to watch in terror through a little window as they spread chaos and carnage in their wake, not to mention quite a few broken off wing mirrors. Bert was driving so recklessly, she was frightened he would kill them both. The van was travelling so fast that in no time they were on the outskirts of town in a large deserted industrial estate. Enormous empty warehouses that looked like they were falling down blotted out the sky and soon the van stopped outside a particularly dilapidated one. Zoe looked up out of the fat splattered window. This warehouse was like a gigantic aircraft hangar. Zoe took a deep breath and everything turned dark as Bert drove the van inside. As soon as it lurched to a halt she climbed out of the back and hid under the van. Trying to breathe as quietly as possible, she looked around the giant space. There were cages and cages of rats, all piled up on top of each other. It looked like there were thousands of them in there, waiting to be pulverised. Beside the cages was a tank of cockroaches with a sticker that simply read, Ketchup. I'm so glad I never ate one of Bert's burgers, thought Zoe. Even so, she still felt really sick. In the middle of the warehouse was a dirty old stepladder that led up to a massive machine. This must be his pulverization machine, thought Zoe. It was old and rusty and looked like it had been made out of bits from cars that had fallen apart, pieces of old freezers and microwave ovens. The whole thing was held together with sticky tape. As Zoe watched from underneath the van, Bert approached the machine. The main part of the contraption was a massive metal funnel with a long conveyor belt leading from underneath it. A huge wooden rolling pin hovered over the belt. Next, metal arms that could have been parts of old food mixers stood ready at the side. On the end of the arms were round metal tubes that looked like sawn down sections of old piping or perhaps even parts of a lorry exhaust pipe. If the noise of the squeaking rats was deafening, it was nothing compared to the sound of the machine. As soon as Bert walked over and pulled the lever on the side to turn it on, which was actually an arm from a shop window dummy, the metal grinding noise easily drowned out the squeaks. The whole machine rattled as if it was about to fall to pieces. Zoe spied on Bert as he trundled over to a cage of rats. Bending down, he picked it up. There must have been a hundred rats inside. Could Armitage be one of them? And plodded over to the stepladder, moving gingerly because of the weight. Slowly but surely, he climbed up the ladder one step at a time. At the top, he paused for a moment, wobbled slightly, and then smiled a sickening smile. Zoe wanted to call out to stop him, but didn't dare reveal herself. Then... Bert lifted the cage above his head and tipped the rats into the machine. They tumbled through the air to their certain death. One little rat, not much bigger than Armitage, clung onto the cage for dear life. With a sickening laugh, the evil man prized its little claws off the metal and it plunged down and down into the machine. There was then a hideous crunching sound. He really did pulverise them. Out of the bottom of the machine poured some minced meat. The meat was then flattened by a huge wooden roller before the arms plunged down repeatedly onto the conveyor belt and chopped the meat into patties. The patties then trundled along the belt before falling into a filthy cardboard box. Now Zoe really did want to vomit. Bert's terrible secret was out. Can you guess what Bert's secret was, reader? I should hope so. There is quite a big clue in the title of this book. Yes, he was turning rats into burgers. Maybe, reader, you have even eaten one yourself without even knowing. No!
screamed Zoe. The little girl couldn't help it. But disastrously, she had given herself away. <laughs>